Mira and Brocaccia. Today, we're going to make a Caesar salad with the easiest Caesar dressing you ever made in your life, okay? So I got cut up bread here. Again, it's Farragalli's. We have a lot of great bakeries in our city. Farragalli's is just, you know, one of our favorites. So I have butter and I have oil. So that's enough for right. So whenever you have extra bread, just cut it up into little cubes, cut the crust off and put it in the freezer. This way, whenever you want to make a salad or a stuffing or something, you always have it there. So I'm gonna let them cook. We're gonna let them get brown. And I do like a little bit of salt and pepper on them, okay? So this recipe is like from, I probably found this recipe about 35 years ago. It's not the exact measurements that they use. I don't know, I don't remember, but it was actually from an old Bon Appetit, I think, or it could have been a gourmet magazine. Now, so I have two cloves of garlic and I have a teaspoon of capers washed and a pinch of Worcestershire. I'm gonna put them in a food processor and I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use three anchovies today. Use as many as you want. But three is good, three or four. So, and of course, if you're a person who orders extra anchovy when you get your salad, you know to put more on. So that's about three. So I want to find the lid to this. <laughs> uh, this up. I like to start to crush the garlic up. Okay, so then the next step is mayonnaise. So you don't have to worry, uh, okay. you know, they can get sick because you're worried about using fresh eggs. You can also buy pasteurized and you don't have to worry about that at all. But if I would make Caesar at the restaurant, I would always make it fresh. And if I wanted to use this version, I'd make fresh mayo did it okay so now that is a cup and a half of mayonnaise regular mayonnaise and I'm gonna put this about three tablespoons of lemon juice fresh lemon juice of course and we'll blend that in that started so you can see what it's starting to look like just turn into a nice little Caesar dressing, okay? And I'm not the best with this process. So see our croutons? They're getting nice and toasty. I actually don't like them to get hard. I like some softness in there and the oil gets in there and then all the dressing hits. So for me, they're done. Okay, so now I'm gonna put, I have about a quarter cup of I have Pecorino Romano, because that's what I use. You can use Pecorino Romano, you can use Parmesan, whatever you want. And I'm gonna put that lid back on. I'm gonna put a little salt and pepper, just a pinch, because you have capers and you have anchovies. Put some black pepper, okay. Put this back on. Oh dear God, this is not my food processor. <laughs> On. So now this is really going to be thick. Okay, so I'm going to add about two tablespoons of olive oil. I don't like extra virgin olive oil because sometimes extra virgin is a little bit bitter. You have to know the olive oil you're using if you want to use extra virgin. So we're going to turn that off to check it so this might be still a little bit thick for you so let's say mm, look at that dressing I think it's perfect but I'm gonna get a spoon and I'm gonna taste it so delicious I'm not kidding okay now you'll go by this whenever you make a recipe do it the way it's recommended the first time. Unless it's something you say, oh, I'm sorry, I ain't eating anchovies. Well, then don't eat anchovies. But you know it's part of a Caesar. 
but this is delicious. So you'll see by this consistency. And remember to drizzle in the olive oil because if you don't, it could break off and you don't want that to happen, okay? So real, real slow, just like when you're making a, a vinaigrette, okay? So you can see that, that's sick, okay? So what you can do, if that's too thick for you, add a little bit of water. So I'm gonna add a little tiny, tiny bit of water. It's not too thick for me, but I just wanna show you. Okay, so I'm gonna put that on. And I'm gonna get a little thing. And I'm gonna put just a little bit in there. That's probably about an eighth of a cup. And I'm gonna hit it. And if you like more garlic, put it. I don't recommend it, but if you do. So look at how that thinned it out more now. Okay? Okay, look at that. I'm telling you, when you try this, you are gonna love it. Now, anybody who has the cookbook that I had made knows this recipe and probably has made it because people love this easy dressing, okay? So, I just thought that I wanted to show you how to make it, but you could see how nice that's going to collect on your romaine. So, we'll be right back and show you how to put the salad together. I just washed and dried the lettuce in my salad spinner. If you don't have one of them, get one. They save you a lot of trouble. You can find one for like 15 bucks or something. And so you always want to dry your lettuce because if you dry your lettuce, whatever dressing you use will stay on it nicer. It sticks to it better. Wet, it won't stick, okay? So you really don't need salt in this because you have salt in that. So we're gonna put you know, you don't know how much you're going to need, so just start with two of those, okay? So we're just going to mix it up nice. And you can't over mix a salad. Matter of fact, when you think you've mixed it enough, give it another turn. Because you want all that to go in. You can see how nice that's coating everything, okay? Now, if you were making, you know, this for lunch, add a couple of tomatoes, you know, make it a little heartier, salmon on it if you want a nice, easy dinner, or, you know, if your grill's on, put a grilled chicken. Okay, so look at how pretty that looks. Now, I think that's enough dressing, okay? But, of course, get what you want. I always, you know, like... I am one of those people who ask for extra dressing on the side. I'm sorry. I like a lot of dressing in my salad. So, now you want to plate it nice. You know, take your time. You know. And that's probably enough for one, but I'm going to share this. So, I'm going to just put it all in there. And... You can, if you want to, um, you can add anchovies to the top. So, you want to add these croutons, as many as you want. Mm, I'm telling you, if you don't overcook them, they say spongy. And you can see the oil and all that bread and the oil gets mixed in with the dressing. And it's just so good. So, I hope you enjoyed this recipe. If you like the video, please share it. If you make it, let me know. I'm telling you, everything, you usually have all this in the house. If you don't have capers, just eliminate them. You know what I mean? Throw an olive in. You know, you get that same bitter, like, taste. You know, do whatever you want. This is just a basic dressing. No more need to buy bottles, okay? So, I want everybody out there to enjoy their food and I wanted to say uh, I like making these videos it keeps us all held over until the restaurants get to open because I know myself I can't wait to go back out and eat I mean I love cooking but we all need a break so I'm really looking forward to the day that we could actually walk into our favorite restaurant and say can I get a table please so everybody stay safe and cheers everybody